In a surprise twist today, Dr. Jeffrey Abrams was sentenced to house arrest and probation. Team 10 was first to break the story when the allegations first emerged, and just a few months ago, Abrams pleaded guilty to the charges. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us live on this story. And Steve, we also learned that the doctor is suffering from cancer. He is, and that is one, his poor health is one of the uh, factors involved in the sentencing, Steve. But the victims are the key. They did not want to come here to court and get up on that witness stand and testify. With a plea bargain, they don't have to. Judge Laura Hallgren sentenced former Dr. Jeffrey Abrams to 25 years, eight months in prison, then stayed that term and ordered him to one year of house arrest and probation. The attorney for 10 of those victims and three others who were suing Abrams said they're satisfied. My clients are pleased that justice was served today. Abrams was arrested last year as he stepped off a plane at Lindbergh Field charged with molesting and taking nude pictures of female patients with his cell phone at a clinic in El Cajon. The victims did not want to testify. To have to go through a traumatic experience and then have to relive it on a public setting like this in court in front of the media, the victims were terrified of doing that. The district attorney also weighed the fact that Abrams is reportedly suffering from liver cancer. There's a lot going on in this case and when 11 of the 12 victims come to us and they say that they do not want to testify that they are satisfied with the fact that he has pled guilty, he has taken responsibility. Abrams lost his license to practice medicine and he is to have no contact with any victims. Did you see any remorse, Jeffrey? Honestly, I didn't look at him. Abrams is being sued by 14 people. No information was forthcoming about the status of any settlements. The victim's attorney spoke, though, about Abrams' reputation. Not only did he lose his job, he is forever now listed as a sex offender. He is being publicly shamed now by all of you uh, through your uh, media. And none of those uh, sexually explicit pictures found their way into the patient files. Detectives did, though, find thousands on Abrams' cell phone. Live in El Cajon, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.